what's going on guys and welcome to your 49th javascript tutorial in which we'll be learning about something called add event listener in javascript now add event listener in javascript is a very important kind of uh, method you can say which works on the objects and it kind of binds events to your objects which are like html tags and things like when you want an event or a function to be fired whenever somebody hovers over this div box so I'll just create this div right here as a box the width of 500 pixels and height of 500 pixels as well I'll just lower this down to 400 by 400 the background of red okay so let's reload this okay so I guess this is just overflowing the screen so let's just reduce it to 2 by 2 looks good alright so now the traditional way of doing thing is like document dot get elements by tag name or whatever you like query selector is like on click equals function but though it looks clean but uh, but it is not the standard way of doing things because yep this would work but I don't recommend this because using add event listeners you are basically registering your events as well inside JavaScript but with this you are just simply declaring an event so with add event listener you get more control over your events and revoking them and I'll just explain that in a minute to you so let's say you want to add an event listener to this div so the traditional way is this now leave this way and try this one so I'll just go with add event listener and since this is a method it would accept or oh, I'll just separate both of these so let's just say what div equals this thing right here and div dot add event listener the first one would be the listener you want to add now it won't be like on click but simply the name of the event so this is click in my case the function you want to fire this would be let's say my click and it won't accept like any parameters you want so yeah one thing you need to know is that whenever you are passing in a function you just need to pass the name of that function not with the square I uh, these curly braces as well so whenever you are passing it as a function this add event listener would automatically pass the current events um, you can say reference so this my click is something like function event which is my click event so both of those were similar exact copies what I wrote like right here is similar to this thing right here if you see so an event argument is passed inside this function which would obviously give you access to this div right here and all of its properties the third argument is the boolean argument which is either true or false now this thing right here is something related with something called as event bubbling now event bubbling is something which I would like to teach you guys in a separate tutorial not in this one because it would take a lot of time not a lot of time but it would certainly take at least five minutes for me to explain you what's even bubbling and how it would practically work so for this tutorial I'll just set the event bubbling to false and I'll just make sure that I teach you guys about this event bubbling so don't um, just confuse yourself for now so let's pass in the event object let's see what this has got for us say console.log event.target now even the target would eventually take us to this div now event is does not has the direct reflection of this div but you have to use the target property to get back to this div okay so now let's reload this open the console just zoom out a little bit and let's just click on this div so you see that we are getting 
the reference of that div that particular div inside the console so if I do like even the target dot class name and just assign it a class of wow and let's reload this now whenever I click this you see that wow is console logged right here so pretty much you could access everything which you used to do with the on click by using the event dot target and whatever your property you want to access for that div or any other HTML object you have so that's it for this tutorial for add event listener and yeah I need to tell you guys that add event listener is you know as usual not supported by Internet Explorer 8 or below I guess so that's why sometimes on click is a better approach instead of add event listener because it is kind of supported in majority of the browsers instead of add event listener but still add event listener is a good choice to make and you could actually just test if it is enabled in the browser it is if it is available in the browser or not so we'll be doing that couple of checks in my next tutorials and I will be teaching you what is even bubbling which I skipped over in this tutorial. So that's it for this and I'll see you then next time. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.